I've seen these videos on cooking channels where they'll do like 10 minute versus 30 minute versus three hour mac and cheese or like some other recipe. And it got me thinking that this might actually be a really fun challenge to try in The Sims. So what if I tried to build the same house in 10 minutes, in 30 minutes, and then in three hours? We can see how much it evolves and changes with the extra time that I get. Because realistically, 10 minutes is impossible to build an entire proper Sims house. 30 minutes is basically impossible depending on the size, but three hours is about how long it normally takes me to record my build videos. So this should be an interesting experiment. I love these older Victorian houses with the wraparound porches and the towers and the detail. So I think I'll try to build something inspired by this three times all on this same lot. All right, 10 minutes on the clock. I'm getting nervous about this. We're gonna have to think very small for this first part. Ready, set, go. Oh my God, this is like a race. <laughs> okay, I really wanna have a wraparound porch and I also really wanna have a second floor. It can be very tiny. It doesn't have to be big. We can do something like really simple like this too. You still kind of get the picture. You can tell what I'm going for. Oh my God, doing a wraparound porch is so silly of me. <laughs> The roofing of this is gonna make it take so much longer. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. As long as the outside looks good, it's all that matters, right? It needs a, a nice outside and it needs to be functional. But as long as we have both of those things, we should be fine, I, I think at least, I don't know. Oh my God, I just struggled picking a column twice, which was not very smart of me. I don't have the time for this. I can't afford to struggle to pick a column. Oh no, okay, 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 okay. This can be the shape, that can be the main shape. It can be really simple on the outside. I shall paint the whole thing a lovely light blue and get some lovely roof texture. This looks like everything I have ever built before in The Sims 4. <laughs> Ew, what is that? Oh my God, I hate, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. That does not match at all. I honestly should have uninstalled all the packs except just the base game. I say that because it would make my life so much easier if we, oh no. Oh my God, I didn't move objects. Oh my God, I didn't even turn on cheats. <laughs> but in cases like this, it's just easier to have less to think about. Like it's genuinely better, I feel like, to have only the one pack to worry about adding. Okay, on the inside now. And oh my God, there's no space. Where do I even put the staircase? Okay, um, 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 this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I managed to get two bedrooms up here and there's two bathrooms in the house because we have one downstairs and one upstairs. I actually cannot think about tile or wallpaper. I'm so sorry. We have to just pick something. We can have like a pink kids room. Maybe there could be like a beige room. Honestly, maybe it all could be beige. That would be totally and completely fine. It can just all be the same color. We really don't have a lot of time. So I'm trying to think about absolute necessities. Oh my God, I don't want to use that bed. Oh my God, you can't even fit a bed in here. <laughs> oh no, you guys, what do we do? Okay, scoot it back, scoot it back. Um, Just use literally any of those. Maybe I could get a desk. Why did I pick that desk? Oh, the color scheme looks so bad. The color scheme looks so, so, so bad. Um, maybe do like a a different bed. I don't have time to be making changes. That's the thing. When you do a challenge like this, you kind of just have to keep what you picked. <laughs> You're kind of just stuck with it. All right, that can be the whole upstairs. Downstairs, we have four minutes. Oh no. Okay, I need a kitchen. I think I'll put the kitchen over here in this little open area. That's totally functional. There's nowhere to put a TV. <laughs> oh my God, this is a terrible build. There's nowhere to put anything. I can't even get a table. I shouldn't do that. Okay, the whole interior can be done. I'm gonna try and get some landscaping. <laughs> I don't really know what. Maybe if we just had like a couple trees or something. I probably should have scooted it closer to the front of the lot too. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I, I feel like, well, I guess I'm forgetting the back. <laughs> I didn't do the back at all. I know I haven't done the back. I'm sorry. I just, I just can't. I just can't. It's too late. There's no point trying to change the back, okay? Unless maybe I could get the porch to go all the way around. Oh, this might help us. How much? I've got two minutes. Okay. There's maybe potential there. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what else to add, but. Oh my God, I can't put a window anywhere good. Oh no. Okay, one cent turned window. <laughs> this is so ugly. It's horrible. Okay, I need an outdoor trash can. Maybe something like this one. Maybe they could have like some garden planters. <laughs> oh, a bike. That could be cute. That adds some little color maybe. I have a dog doormat and no dog. Why have I done that? Why, 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 why? Oh, how about this little guy? Okay, that's cute. Oh, I don't have any artwork. Um, I have a little bit more time, so I'm just trying to put a couple other decoration things in the kids' bedroom because I didn't put any before. I'm just grabbing random stuff. What am I doing? Okay, that's fine. Maybe, do I have time for a rug? I don't even know what rug to use. Oh, cute. Okay, little pet rug. Maybe the primary bedroom can have a rug. Maybe like a lamp or something. Why can't I find one? I'm so stressed out. I don't even like that one. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, anything else? No, okay. Okay, wow, that was really stressful. Um, well, this is the entire finished house. <laughs> 
house. It's not really the Victorian house of my dreams. Um, it's kind of like, well, dare I say it's kind of ugly. It's something. It, it sure is something. Okay, well, a little tour. I'm surprised that I managed to get any landscaping at all. We've got a bike. We didn't get a mailbox. I kind of forgot about that part. On the front porch, we've got a little entryway. We have a chest table and then nothing in the back. <laughs> On the inside, we've got another little entryway. I put a bookshelf. We've got a small living room with a TV to the side of it. I do like the kitchen. I think this was kind of cute. I wish that we had a dining table somewhere. We managed to have two bathrooms. This one downstairs and then also an ensuite one in the primary bedroom. Upstairs, I put a bookshelf in the hallway and nothing else. We've got one kid's bedroom, which has some pretty random decor, but is okay. And then we have that primary bedroom that I had to scoot the bed into the wall for, otherwise it wouldn't fit. And that's the whole house. There's not really much to see. It's definitely not good. The windows aren't good. The back isn't good. It's, this is like bare bones. Honestly, considering the time frame, not too bad. I think that we can do a lot better than this with 30 minutes. I mean, triple the time, we can have like a way cooler exterior. It's gonna be properly furnished. I figured I would go for pretty much the same shape, but maybe with like a little bit of an addition or something. We could also potentially have a chimney, which might help make the place look a little bit nicer. See, this is a very similar vibe, but it's just a little bit more thought out because that's what happens when you have more time. You can actually think about it you have time to make a real decision about what the place is going to look like. Before, I was not thinking. I was just building. I mean, it makes sense. I was trying to speed run a build, so I had no time to think. Okay, now I've got a little bit more room to actually consider what it's going to look like, and somehow I still don't like it. Oh my goodness, look at this with the little shingles on the top of the roof. I might regret doing this, but I am kind of feeling like right now I've got a lot of time to do little details, so I'm putting like a little bit of trim underneath these little shingles and trying to add columns to the side. Oh, that already looks a million times better. I guess I guess we are benefiting right now from the fact that I already built this one, so I kind of have a better idea of what I want it to look like because I did already do it before. If I built this one first and then the 10 minute house, it would have gone better, but. Oh well. Ooh, slightly different vibes in this house. I've only got one bedroom upstairs. That's okay, we've got a bedroom downstairs. We've got two bathrooms upstairs too. So I've got one for the hallway and then one as an ensuite. And this bedroom is bigger so we can actually fit a full bed in there without scooting it into the wall. I've got the exact same kitchen layout even though the shape of this downstairs is a little bit different. The living room layout is a lot better. This makes like so much more sense. <laughs> way, way, way more sense. And we can get a real table too. Not a big table but a little one and it can have some decor on it and stuff. I could actually maybe even get a door to go to the outside. I only managed to get one bed in the kids room before, but I feel like this room is actually a good spot to try and fit in an extra one. It's kind of cute. We can have two sims sharing this room instead. I put this fake table and some toys in there, so it's kind of good for multiple ages. We originally had a desk with a computer on it in the primary bedroom, so I'm gonna try and do that in here too. I might be getting a little bit overconfident right now about timing, but I feel really good. I, I feel kind of like this is gonna be fine, but knowing me, I will probably say that now and then really regret it later. So let's not get too ahead of ourselves. That bedroom's probably done for now. Then we've got two bathrooms to do. I used this tile downstairs, so I might just recreate it. There was no time to make a bathroom actually look cute before. I don't even think I had a mirror in the other one. Wow, look, I even got toothbrushes. That's so cool and exciting. I can try and make sure I get all those things that I forgot to add before. Or I guess I didn't forget. I just didn't have time. But look, I can get a fire alarm. Miraculously, I finished the main furnishing. So now I'm going back and trying to get some little details. Things like candles and plants and all those things that we didn't have time for last time. I actually even have time to add in curtains somehow. Oh my god, and like kitchen clutter. There wasn't a single thing on the kitchen counters last time. <laughs> I can actually get stuff in the kitchen. Okay, that might be the whole interior finished and we still have 10 minutes. I really don't want to get too ahead of myself because we have a lot to do, but I did build a whole house in 10 minutes last time, so I'm feeling kind of good about this. The back of the house was probably the main thing that we were lacking before in the first one, so that's kind of a priority for me right now. It doesn't even necessarily have to be good. It just has to be done because the bar is that low. You know what? This probably could have been a 20 minute build challenge. I'm even doing terrain paint. I never get to do terrain paint in these timed challenges. The outside is probably done so I may even go back in and try and decorate a little bit better inside. Everything is very 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 bare bones in here so it would be nice to have a few more details. I didn't put anything on the walls in here before. Not a single thing on the kids room walls. Oh my goodness. I've 
got time and space, so I'm going back and adding some stuff for pets. I put a litter box and a little cat tree. I did not think I was gonna have enough time for that, but I'm really glad that I did. I'm amazed by how much extra time I just had. I managed to get so many more things put in. I've only got 14 seconds, but the last thing I'm trying to do like really quick is add in some outdoor lighting because I never get to do this in time challenges. But look, we're gonna be able to have some little outdoor lights by the plants. And then, okay, three, two, one, it's over. <gasps> I just realized I didn't have this on the whole time. <laughs> I never put the timer back. Oh, that's so embarrassing. That's fine. I can add it in post. But that turned out way better than I was expecting. This is actually kind of nice looking. I'll give you a quick tour. So this is what the outside looks like. Very similar to the other house that we built first, but a little bit upgraded. We've got some more decor, bigger. It's got an extra side. There's some more thought put into it. We've got some fancier landscaping with some more details, like a gnome and like a bird bath. Around the back, we actually have a back. <laughs> I put like a telescope. There's some planters. We've got a little grill and table. There's some kids playground stuff. On the patio, we have more flowers, a chess table, there's even an easel. And then when you come inside, we've got a more intentionally laid out living room. So we've got like a big seating area. The cat even has a seat. There's a TV. The kitchen's in the same area. It's a little bit tighter, but it's more decorated. There's like a microwave and some little clutter items. The cat has food bowls. Downstairs, we have a kid's bedroom for two Sims. And then upstairs, we've got a little hallway, a hall bathroom for everyone to use, and then a primary bedroom with a bed and a desk. And they've got an ensuite bathroom that also has a litter box. So I went from having space for three Sims to having space for four, but also a cat. So maybe five, could be two cats. There's two pet bowls, maybe six Sims could live here now. This is way better. We did way better in 30 minutes. I'm really curious to see how much more we can do in three hours. I'm gonna bulldoze this and we'll just jump right into it. We're gonna have to do a speed build for this part because obviously three hours is a very long time. I did actually live stream this build on Twitch. So if you wanna go back and watch the full three hour video. I'm gonna link the re-upload of the stream down below. I post all of my streams on my second channel called More Simsy, and I also obviously live stream all those streams on my Twitch channel, which is just the same as this. It's just Lil Simsy. So there is video evidence with no cuts that this did take me three hours to build. And I must say, I think I am really, really proud of how this one turned out. This might be one of my favorite builds that I've ever done. So let's just jump straight into the build here. Obviously, we know what we're going for. We've kind of got some practice in building houses of this style, but I'm trying to do a very fancy Victorian inspired house. It's gonna be blue, kind of kind of like a blue suburban. All of these are kind of like blue suburban. That's sort of the meme. It's um, I'm kind of known for making all of these blue houses in The Sims. In my defense, I've got a reason for this one. Two reasons actually. The inspo pick was blue, but also I wanted to do a mix of the siding and the shingles. And there's not that many shingle options for wallpapers in The Sims 4. Most of them are from cats and dogs and they only have blue and beige. I'm not kidding, you can check. There's like three shades of blue and then a couple shades of beige and that's the only colors of the shingles in Cats and Dogs. And so I wanted to use those and I had to make the house blue to match the shingles. It's Cats and Dogs fault, not mine, Cats and Dogs fault. Do you hear that, Sunny? It's your fault. You're the reason. <laughs> she is the reason it is blue. Now this house is obviously significantly bigger than the other two that we built. And I also actually managed to get a tower in this version because we had a lot more time to work on it. To be honest, I didn't feel the time crunch at all with this. Like not even remotely, I was not concerned about time in the slightest. When I streamed this on Twitch, I actually didn't even mention that the time thing was my intention. I wasn't sure if I was gonna end up posting this video on YouTube or not, so I, I kind of just like didn't bring it up on Twitch until I was certain that I wanted to post it. Obviously it turned out good, so I do want to post it, but I didn't want to make a big deal being like, yeah, I'm doing this big timed challenge, because then what if I what if I didn't post it on YouTube? <laughs> so I kept that part to myself, but it wasn't really a problem. I had plenty of time. Not not exactly surprised by that though, because I usually stream for about three hours every single day. So I've grown pretty accustomed to building a house in about three hours, usually give or take like half an hour. Sometimes it takes me like four hours-ish to do a build, but depending on the size, a house like this, I can pretty much always do in about three hours. It ends up being a three bedroom house. It's really not that big, just like the other ones are. It does have an extra bedroom though. Downstairs, it's really quite small. Downstairs, we have just the kitchen, a big dining entryway combo, and a living room. And then of course the three bedrooms upstairs. But I think probably the most exciting part of this house is the greenhouse that I added in. In both of the other two builds, I had like some really cute garden areas that I added because I had some space in the backyard. In fact, the garden was like the only thing in the backyard in the 10 minute version. So I wanted to take that and like really embrace it and make it way cooler in this part. And so I actually
actually made an attached greenhouse on this fancy version, and I'm really proud of the attached greenhouse. I think it looks really cool from the exterior. Just in general, the whole exterior of this house, I ended up adding a balcony in the back. I feel like this is the best Victorian inspired house I've ever built, and I really like this style, so I've done quite a few of them over the years, but this one by far I think is the best one I've done. And maybe it's because I tried to build three, <laughs> like all at the same time, but this one really doesn't look anything like the other two houses. The other two houses are kind of just like generic suburban houses. They're not really Victorian at all. There isn't really anything Victorian about them. This one definitely has some fancier vibes. This is not as generic as the first two. In the back, there's kind of like some funky shapes going on, and I kept joking about how it reminds me of The Sims 3. It looks kind of like The Sims 3 goth house, if you're familiar, just in the shape, just with like the angles of the shape that I added in. Calling it Sims 3 is, is a really, really grave insult, but <laughs> I didn't mean it in a bad way. I meant it in like a nostalgic way. And speaking of graves, I'll have to show you when I tour this house at the end, because I did cut it out of the speed build. I was trying to keep this part brief. This video is long enough, but um, in the greenhouse, there's like part of the chimney, and in that chimney, I put a ladder, and the ladder goes into a basement, and the basement is kind of creepy. <laughs> There's like some stains on the ground and like maybe a coffin and a skeleton, but I just thought it was kind of a fun little detail because I had plenty of space, so I kind of wanted to add in some funky things like that. And now you can obviously tell the shape of the house has really come together. It's kind of finished on the exterior now and it looks so good. I don't usually like to sit here and be like, yeah, my build's great, but I, I actually really, really do like how the exterior of this looks. I used a lot of packs in this, obviously. There's a lot of Stranger Veil. There's a lot of cats and dogs going on. I mean, there's a lot of stuff like that everywhere. The Strangerville part's almost a little bit insulting, but it just has such good windows and doors, so I had to use them everywhere. I don't know if you can tell, but on that front part where it's a little bit rounded, it's not round, it's it's angled. It's kind of like bay window shaped a little bit. I'll show you when I do the actual tour, but there's these roof pieces. I added these like little wall decor items onto the exterior to make it look like it's supporting the roof. And if you only knew how long it took me to do that, I probably probably spent like 10 or 15 minutes trying to get the roof pieces to fit correctly. And it just makes me laugh now thinking about how we had that amount of time for an entire house <laughs> in this same video, but I spent that much time doing just these little, little tiny roof bits. It's because they're on an angle, so they place really weird. I'll, I'll show you up close in a bit. Now on the interior, again, I had to cut out some things just for the sake of time, but you can see we've got a fancy kitchen downstairs. And then in the entrance, it's kind of a weird shape because of the like turret part and stuff, but there's a dining room when you first walk in, there's like a little entryway space, and then I've got like a piano and some cute decor in there. Now we're working on the greenhouse section, so I'm putting in like some cute tile and some wallpaper. I covered it with planter boxes and stuff. It's not technically a functional greenhouse because I filled the planter boxes with flowers, but if you were to play in this house, the house does function. You can just delete the flowers that are in the planter box so you could plant real things in there. I always like to think of myself as a pretty quick builder, but it really is amazing how much more you can do when you actually have time. Obviously, like no one is surprised by that, but it's it's just so funny to think about how like I probably spent 10 minutes on just the kitchen, but before we only had 10 minutes for the whole house. This part's honestly not even a challenge. This part is just like showing off what we can do. <laughs> we got plenty of time. We can do anything. There's no question. No worries. But you can kind of see what I meant now a little bit better, how I have like hidden the ladder inside of the chimney. So from the front, it looks like a chimney, but from the back and like from the inside, you can see the ladder in there. I didn't put it behind a door or anything because I wanted it to be more easily accessed. I'm not actually sure if Sims can use a ladder when there's a door straight up against it. They're kind of weird about things sometimes. The Sims 4 Sims are a lot smarter than older Sims games were, but they still sometimes are not the best at navigating spaces. <laughs> so you gotta be a little bit careful. In the living room, I had this kind of like really cute pink color scheme going on. I've got like this really beautiful pink floral rug from growing together. I put these pink couches. I've got a nice fireplace. I ended up putting some musical instruments in here and some nice things like that. The living room honestly took me way too long. It's like kind of embarrassing. It's just a weird shape and it's very skinny. So trying to do the shape and like trying to do the layout specifically was really hard for me because I didn't know what to put in the sides. <laughs> like it was just too 
long and there were so many windows and doors everywhere it was hard to work around really. It was fun because I got to use the new frame TV from the Modern Lux kit which fit perfectly. It has like the right yellow swatch too with the flowers. This is kind of an interesting house because I keep describing it as being Victorian inspired but obviously it's not like a historically accurate old house. That was not my intention at all. I was more picturing this being kind of like an old house that's lived in by modern people but like maybe it's grandma so she has kind of some older furniture taste maybe some older details in the house grandma's got like her grandma's old furniture but <laughs> it's still like lived in the modern day so it's definitely not a historically accurate old house it's maybe been renovated over the years it's been updated some changes have been made it's it's like slightly different now oh I also okay <laughs> in the speed build I had to cut out the other two bedrooms you should have seen the back and forth that I was doing with the bedrooms it's almost laughable because if I had done this in the other house, I would have had no time. But basically there's a primary bedroom upstairs that I felt like was pretty fine. I made like a cute divider space for a home office area in there. But there's also two other bedrooms. There's like a couple kids bedrooms and I struggled so much. I don't know what was wrong with me. I tried like 15 different things in one of the kids bedrooms. It was at first a toddler's room, then it was a teen's room, then it was a kid's room again. Then I tried to make a nursery and I hated it. So I just, I went back and forth so much with the bedrooms to the point where I didn't even bother including it in this part of the video because do you need to watch me redo the same room four times? No, no you don't, no you don't. But it just kind of goes to show you how much time we had. We have plenty of time to be redoing things. Whereas in the first half of this video, we had to make a choice and then just stick with it because you can't change it when you only have 20 minutes. In my defense though, in the 10 minute part of the video, my kitten was on my desk. So I didn't really have like full control of my keyboard. So anything bad about that, you can actually just blame it on the cat, okay? It was the cat's fault, not mine. Oh, and actually one thing about this house that makes it worse than the other two is that this version of the house only has one bathroom. In both the other houses, I managed to put two bathrooms in the time, but in this house, it wasn't really a time issue or anything. I just had more room to do cooler things. And so I didn't put extra bathrooms downstairs or anything. Plus, cause I was kind of trying to make it seem like an old house. I don't think it's too unrealistic to have only one bathroom in an old house. So it is kind of a fancy bathroom, but there is just the one upstairs. I guess that's a downside. <laughs> Somehow I managed to get a creepy basement full of coffins, but I still only had one bathroom up here. I would have liked to have had a bathroom downstairs. It was just too small and it couldn't fit, so I didn't really bother with it, but it's okay. It's, think of it as like a storyline thing. It's, it's on purpose. It's all about vibes and style, not about functionality, okay? But it does function, just so we're clear. I didn't make like a non-functional house. It's just, maybe it would have benefited from an extra bathroom, but we're pretty much done now with the whole interior. I obviously cut out a lot of that because there was so much to show you, so I'm gonna pop back into the game and show you a proper tour of the finished product. And then we can also compare how the three houses all turned out. On the gallery, it's called the old Victorian house. And I am kind of dating how long ago I started recording this video, but just ignore that. It costs 117,000 simoleons and it also uses like a bajillion packs. I'm really sorry. And this is what the finished product looks like. So you can see the tower in the front. We've got some really beautiful kind of lush landscaping, similar color scheme to the other two landscaping, just maybe a little bit better execution. Executed. I've also got some fancy lighting out here and a really pretty fence in the front. We also have an easel on this porch, but it's kind of just cuter looking. In the side, we've got some rocking chairs. In the back, there's a balcony up top. We've got a game table and a telescope. It's kind of like two stories. So downstairs, there's just some more seating. The bathroom is not fenced in, but it does have like a little gazebo back here. And I put a little dining table. I just think this turned out so beautifully. And this is what I was talking about with those little roof pieces that took me ages. So you see how the wall is angled, but the roof is flat. I wanted to put like this little thing to try and have some detail in the front of the building and it does look beautiful, okay? But to get it to place there, obviously it doesn't slot to that edge. So I had to like draw a wall and then delete this wall and then place the thing and then delete it. But it was like placing in the wrong height and it kept snap, oh my God. It was just, you had to be there, but it was really annoying. <laughs> It was really, really annoying to get it to be in the right spot, but it does look cute. And then when you come inside, we've got this really adorable little entryway. I put some tile here and I also put like a table with your phone and a candle. There's a coat rack. You can walk up the stairs from here, which what the heck? My, oh my God, have you been having this glitch too? There is a stair railing, but it's not visible right now. Is it because of you? 
Oh my God, that's so weird. Okay, I don't even want to talk about that. You saw it in the speed build. There was a stair railing. We've got a little dining table right here. I, I put a glow bar and a cabinet for our dishes. I loved this painting because it kind of matched the vibes. And there's like a little seating area with a tea tray in this little nook. All the way in the back, we've got this cute kitchen and kind of a fun green and pink color scheme. These are the vampires cabinets and this shelf is from Cottage Living, but it matches exactly. So I had a lot of fun decorating in here. When you come over to the right, this is the living room. So we've got a little TV section, sitting area. There's like knitting. You can access the porch from here, the backyard from here, and you can also access the greenhouse from here. And this is what the greenhouse looks like. It's very bright. It's covered in windows, but it's also got a lot of pretty plants inside. We'll get to this part. I'm going to come back to that in a second. When you go upstairs, there's a very teeny tiny little hallway. To the right, we've got the primary bedroom. They've got their own balcony up here. And they've also got this kind of cute divider to separate the bedroom and like a small office space. I never use those dividers so I had fun using it in here. We've got this kind of cute pink and yellow kids room with some kids stuff inside. This was the miserable room that I decorated like four times and you can actually see some resemblance between this and the other houses. I used the same wallpaper. I did the same little vanity thing, but we also have some toys, including a Grim Reaper toy because this room was so horrible. <laughs> and then last, there's just a bathroom upstairs, only one bathroom in the house, nothing really too fancy. But most importantly, and actually last, this is the basement. I put like a wine cellar, set up so you can make some nectar, you can age it, you can um, store a dead body. <laughs> You can store another dead body. But then I kind of decorated it as though it's just a little storage cellar. So it looks like when you go down the ladder, oh, there's like a bookshelf for storage and like your holiday decor. But behind the secret bookshelf, there is scary things. And that is the whole house. <laughs> That's everything. So just as a reminder, this was the 10 minute house. Then we had the 30 minute house and now the three hour house. It's kind of cool to see them evolve because I was kind of going for the final look in the beginning. I just didn't have enough time to pull it off. But you can see the ideas start to take shape with like the wallpaper coloring and the landscaping, even with the garden thing, because I wanted to have a greenhouse. It's just really hard to build a whole house in 10 minutes. It's even hard to build a whole house in 30 minutes. I'm surprised that I managed to get as much done as I did, but it helped that I had a very solid plan in mind and I had already built something very similar just a second before. You'll have to let me know how I did because I feel like this turned out really well. This has been a super fun challenge for me to do, so hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you like watching long form build videos, I do a lot of building over on my Twitch channel, so I'm gonna link my Twitch streams down below for you as well. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody. By the way, I don't intend to upload the 10 minute or the 30 minute house to the gallery, because in my opinion, they are both ugly. I'm so sorry, I just, I can't.